Guys, welcome in today. Thank you for viewing me and happy Thursday to all the beautiful Geminis out there. This is your general reading. My name is Elena. If you've never viewed me, welcome in and welcome back. Uh, movement choices and decisions. Patience has flown out twice. Geminis, this is your current energies. And if it sounds like something you're going through, this is your reading. I feel that right now there's things in your life that are going in a beautiful direction. But you want things to move a little faster. Emotional withdrawal with a lot of strength and courage. Right now, your current energies is telling me that there's something around you, Geminis, for being a little patient and understanding that sometimes we have to withdraw emotionally instead of reacting to what's going on around us. The Empress with strength and courage. All right, let's look. Current energies for my beautiful Geminis. You guys, happy Thursday. Hope you're having a beautiful day. Mercury retrograde is in full bloom and things are one thing after another. I said the other day, if things just kept coming after me in a different way, not bad things, but just one after another. And I'm an Aquarius and I had said to my friend, the hits just keep on coming. You know, and I thought my test right now is my patience. And I feel right now yours is the same thing. Understanding that sometimes we just have to withdraw and understand before we make a decision about things in our life. Let us look at our own strength and courage. Have the grace to understand that whatever we're going through, we can overcome it. Current energies for Geminis, please. Let's begin. One more shuffle. I'll let my cards fly out. Spirit guides, strongest energies around Geminis. This reading is for... Thank you. What would you like to show me? Current energies around the sign of Geminis. This reading is for, please. Thank you. Anything else? Who's the heart catcher? It's the Empress. You guys, this is a beautiful energy around you right now for nurturing yourself and tending to your own garden and understanding that everything that you harvest with your love and your inner beauty is going to grow and things will start coming your way with abundance. And I have a lot of wisdom. There's things around you right now, Geminis. I have the waiting game and then the shadow side. I feel right now, if this is your reading, I'm here to tell you that things are trying to find harmony with yourself. You have to trust your sacred chakra, which is your own inner guidance, knowing that things are coming towards you. They're just moving a little slow. This is an ace, but this is prosperity begins, the prosperity of things in life that your fulfillment of wishes is all around you. You need to trust your gut right now in which direction you want to go. There's something though I feel you're going through. The waiting game is the wheel of fortune telling me that things are aligning for you for a bigger and better near future during Lionsgate right now. But there's something that you need to tap into. It's an inner wisdom that you, you know, it, whenever I see this card, I always, I always feel different things because I go by how I feel in the cards. If you've never viewed me and my name is Elena, if I didn't say that, but anyway, it's just like you're looking back right now at where you've been. You have a book of knowledge in your hands. And I feel my spirit guides are telling me to nurture yourself, Geminis. Tend to your own garden. Uh, I feel that there's an energy telling me that you need to trust your sacred self and be in a place of harmony. And understand that everything is a cause and effect and the universe is working with you to align things for a bigger and better tomorrow. Remember, Jupiter works with the universe. We have to raise our own vibration in order for things to start to flow in our direction of what we want to create for our own manifestations. First card on my left is discontent and boredom. I have authority and I have heartache and loss. I feel there's something you're trying to heal through right now. Um, discontent and boredom is always telling me that there's an energy around you right now that... Because this card, you know, it has a lot of meanings and I just kind of feel that... There's something around you right now that you need to turn around and look out a new window with a new perspective and understand that there's things around you that you need to take charge of. You know, the emperor is all about your own ambitious plans and understanding that as long as you go after the things in life that you want right now and understand that whatever you're going through, there's an energy around you right now, Gemini, for being true to thyself and realizing that you are all about harmony, harmony with yourself that you can't control everything around you and to be patient and understand that there's certain situations you're going through that have tugged at your heartstrings. You have the wisdom to overcome any obstacles and realize that it brought you to be a bigger and better person because I feel you're about to go towards a lot of new chapters in your life for your own happiness. I just feel it. 
I have moving on, leaving a lot of gray areas, Gemini's, walking into a bigger place of faith and enlightenment. I have your throat chakra, Gemini's. You are all about your voice, your truth, your speech. I'll put it all together for you. I have your heart chakra, what it is you truly want with your heart's desires, the things in life that are going to bring you back into harmony. I have emotional loss. It's the vicious cycle of things that we've been through that we feel like, why did I go through this? Why did it happen to me? It's almost like things from the past are coming back at you to teach you something about your own wisdom and strength. And know that we're all being tested right now about being true to thyself and trusting our own heart and intuition to lead us into the right direction. I have your spiritual strength. And then I have your third eye chakra. And I have the card of optimism, illumination, the sun. Sun's around you right now, Gemini's, for showing you that there's a bigger and better tomorrow. The third eye chakra is where we start to envision, where we start to see and project what we want for the future. I feel that right now my guides are trying to tell me, I always ask for spirits of the highest vibration, that this is a test of your own spiritual strength and about what you want to envision for tomorrow. That right now it's a big energy of you finding harmony with yourself again and your sacred self is about being true to thyself, about what you want in life. To stop settling for things that you don't need to go back to anymore because right now I feel my spirit guides are trying to tell me to tell you that you're walking into a bigger realm. Have the hope and faith there is a bigger tomorrow before you. What is it that you want to walk towards that is your fulfillment of wishes and that is our heart's desires that is going to make us happy. Whatever you're going through right now, all I'm going to say is tend to your own needs and be this beautiful empress. You know, the empress is all about just an inner beauty with love, nurturing its own garden and the things that it does love. And, you know, the emperor attracts everything of abundance. But I do feel my guides are telling me right now what's going on around you is there's some things, it's almost like a repeat rinse. So you can see that there's something about yourself that you need to tap into. And it's about what you want for a bigger and better tomorrow and nurture the things that are going to make you happy. Because everything is a little stalled out right now. And I feel like my guides are telling me that your own truth, your own voice, is going to get you where you need to be, but walk cautiously towards the things in life that you want to take charge of and find harmony with yourself again about being true to thyself. If there's been things lately coming back at you that make you feel more than normal, I feel my spirit guides are telling me we always must look at the negative to bring us back into the positive. That there is an old Gemini that you're leaving right now and walking into a bigger realm of the things you want to attract for tomorrow. You guys, I'm here to spread love and light. And I'm here to show everybody that we all, have the, we all have the power to change our lives. But our faith system is being tested right now about our belief and spirituality and commitment. And I feel that whatever you've been going through, there's things in your life right now that you need to withdraw from and understand that wherever you're at in life, there was something that perhaps didn't work out right or didn't feel right. It was to show you that there's something bigger and better aligning for you for tomorrow. Have harmony with yourself and the people around you and understand that everything is aligning, you guys. So right now, if you've been going through a little bit of a vicious cycle, things just feel like they're coming back at you. I want you to tend to your own needs right now and nurture yourself and nurture the things you love. The sand is almost through that hourglass for fast change, for more things of abundance and moving in your, your direction. There's some things that didn't work out your way recently, if this is your reading. And I feel my spirit guides are telling me it's time for you to look at the negative situation of it so we can bring you back into the positive and have the faith and commitment of your own spiritual belief and believe that something's about to play out in your favor. It's all around you right now. I said that's beautiful. Now I'm going to look at your recent past. Just for some messages, you guys, just a little bit. And then I'll look at what's coming in for you for energies and messages for the next few weeks. Just a little drink of water, pardon me. I am using the Everyday Witch today for your recent past. Four of Swords, the King of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, and the Moon. Well, okay. This is about something new and stable. And I feel that there was something recently behind you that you were taking a major time out about your next move and what it was you wanted to be a success in. Because the King of Pentacles is all about, it's Taurus energy, but it's all about slow, methodical planning. 
there was something that came your way and I'm only saying that because the moon is with the eight of wands I'll shuffle and put let them fly out but it's telling me that the three of swords is showing up there were certain situations that you had to realize that perhaps they tugged at your heart and they made you feel like is anything ever going to go right but I feel that there was something you've been through recently for you to trust in the unknown and there was something that you had to heal through and was trusting yourself that there is a bigger and better waiting for you bigger and better tomorrow waiting for you that you know the moon is always about facing our fears and growing stronger and realizing that perhaps we don't have our clarity on a situation but there was a reason i have the knight of wands and then i have you all up in your head about something now the eight of swords is just a place seven of swords and the card of hope and faith and renewal of the star you had to learn something about what you really wanted in life and i feel that spirit guides were telling me that you had the will and strength to go after it but perhaps you're overthinking a little bit too much recently behind you because the star is a card about the end of difficult situations teaching us that if we have hope and faith renewal is with us at all times renewal of a bigger and better tomorrow because it's all around you right now everything's just stalled out a little bit spirit guides recent past for messages for the sign of Gemini what would you like to show me recent past what do I need to see for Gemini recent past thank you anything else for Gemini anything else okay things really the eight of wands to me is always like things are being sent into motion and the Eight of Wands, to me, as a tarot reader, is actually they're, they're, they're good omens in disguise. It's like the things that came at us to stir something up. Two of Cups, the things that you were connected to with your heart. The Knight of Love, what you wanted to go after with your heart. But there were certain situations behind you that were emotionally disappointing you and they weren't making you happy anymore. Because the Eight of Cups is telling me that there's certain situations that came your way to teach you something about what you really wanted with your heart. That the Eight of Cups is telling me that there are certain situations that weren't what you thought they were. Because then I have the Star and the Eight of Swords. You had to find a place of renewal again, Geminis, and have hope and faith and understanding that we always have things in our life come to a halt or, or something that really tugs at us. And I feel spirit guides are telling me it wasn't going to make you happy anyway. Sometimes we question a lot of stuff, like why did that happen? Why did that have to happen? But I'm here to tell you that it's to tell you that there was something bigger and better that you had to go after. A new part of your destiny, I feel, and I haven't seen the card yet. Ace of Swords, there's your Ace, Gemini. And then I have the beautiful card of Judgment. You know, Judgment is about a compassionate review and the Ace of Swords is telling me that you had to look at something in a new way. You know, the Ace of Swords is breaking the barrier and Judgment is a compassionate review of something you've been through telling me that you grew and you learned a lot of valuable lessons but you had to see something for what it was and realize that it was time to let it go because it brought you to a bigger and better Gemini and you have judgment and the star so far for two big major arcanas finding hope and faith again about something that you really wanted for your heart but your thoughts were on overtime that's what I really feel I understand completely I got the wheel of fortune and I have the empress a valuable lesson about trusting in divine timing and understanding that we all go through things in life that are disappointments. This life is the school of hard knocks and is a school of lessons. But if we trust ourselves and we are always true to thyself, the universe works with us to move us in a new direction. The Nine of Swords, we playing a lot of things at night. The Six of Swords, a lot of thought process. And the Seven of Swords, you guys. This is all air energy. There was something that you wanted to get away from and it was like, when is the light at the end of the tunnel ever going to come? And I'm just going to tell you something that sometimes we don't receive what we want because the universe was working with you to push you towards something bigger and better that perhaps you've been asking for for a long time. How can the things come our way that we truly want if we don't realize that there's sometimes we have roadblocks and obstacles or people do things to us to hurt us because what you really wanted with your heart's desire this wasn't it six of wands in reverse and the last card coming into your current energies is what is it that you truly want that you feel you deserve the queen of pentacles that's a big queen to me one of the biggest i mean they're all big queens but the queen of pentacles sideways is asking me to ask you coming into your current energies well what is it that you feel you deserve in life from your own hard work your own inner work 
your own nurturing energy. You've climbed the ladder to things in life. You became a bigger and better person. But how can you attract something bigger and better if you feel you don't deserve it? You guys, I'm here to spread love and light and I have certain messages for certain people. But something around you right now, I'm going to tell you, is aligning for you and the Empress is here. That is the Angel of Abundance and you have the Emperor and you have Harmony. It's telling me to have your ambitious plans. What is it that you want in life and nurture it? Know that there's something aligning for you for something bigger and better and stop allowing vicious cycles to repeat itself. You need to withdraw right now and understand that everything is aligning for you right now. It doesn't happen overnight, but you've been through some things to teach you something about yourself. And my spirit guides are telling me now it's time for you to give birth to the things in life that you truly want with a nurturing energy. Plant your seeds. The universe is working with you to make your dreams, wishes, desires come into fruition. All right. Sounds like your uh, current energies and a little bit of your recent past. This is general. I just get the strongest energies and what I feel. So, you know, you guys, I'm going to tell you something. Recently behind you, something was aligning. And right now around you, spirit guides are telling me it's just a little bit of a waiting game. Things are stalled out because we're testing your strength, your spiritual strength. Hold on to what you want. Believe that you deserve it. And you have the Empress twice already. Tend to your own garden and never lose hope and faith. You're a bigger and better person from whatever you've been through. Something's being aligned for you right now. Okay, let's look at what's coming in for you. But you know what? Whenever I say that, I tell people that we must believe. Okay, I'm going to go over here today. We must believe that there's something bigger and better coming our way because we are all here and it's all about our energy. The whole universe is energy. All right, I have the giant butt clean it up. I have the empty slate, the yin, and then I have a fork in the road. And what is it that you want to walk towards? And this is between worlds, but it's the flamingo walking into the blue light of manifestation. I feel my spirit guides are telling me you're about to get help back up, but there's something in your life in the next few weeks that they want you to clean up. And it's about the things in your life that you want for new starts. Meaning, why do you need to find a compromise with things when you know what you want? Because that buck has a broom. But remember, the buck is a very, very strong energy of one step at a time. Its antlers are telling me that there's something around you that you've grown from, that you have a lot of years of experience and inner light, lifetimes of experience, that your slate is clean for a bigger and better tomorrow. So why be at a fork in the road in the next few weeks and trying to find a compromise with something that you know you really want for a new start? All right. I'm going to start now. Incoming next week to two weeks. I'll see what they want to say. And then I'll get some messages. Then Love Crossing will be at the end. For Gemini's incoming. Thank you, Spirit Guides. For Gemini's strongest. Mm. I have to make sure everything is fair and balanced in your life. And live in the here and now. I feel my Spirit Guides are telling me there's a bolt to your tree coming, Gemini's. And it's showing you that everything in your life is trying to tie up loose ends for a bigger and better tomorrow. But this is justice. Oh my God. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there we go. This is justice. And whenever I see justice, it's about making sure everything you do in the next few weeks, do it in a place where everything in your life is balanced. And knowing that whatever you do in the right way, things will play out right for you two folds over. Live in the here and now in the next few weeks, meaning live for the day and stop projecting about the future. Spirit guides, what do you want for tomorrow? But keep putting it out there. Incoming. Next week to two weeks for the sign of Gemini's. Thank you. Strongest. Incoming. Now you guys are about to receive. You got the yang. Serendipity. Building blocks. And the thinker and a message in the bottle. You're about to receive a lot of information in the next few weeks. It's going to shift your viewpoint about something that you want. Building blocks with the thinker is, look at the colors, you guys. There's always colors given to me. That there's never a need for you to wonder why something didn't happen in the right way because something's about to be rebuilt back up. 
that building blocks is about building one thing at a time with our own ambition. Serendipity in the yang. Serendipity is telling me expect the unexpected. Serendipity is almost like things come out of nowhere. Be open to receive the things that you're about to, to, to it, it, this is coming in in the next week to two weeks, you guys. Be open to receive something with a grateful heart. The universe is some, it, I feel like the universe is bringing something your way to help you feel like you're getting back on top of things in your life. And a message in a bottle is telling me that there's something coming in for you that's about to help you move along. You know, it's like the stork has landed. Your viewpoint, information, the things that you've been thinking about that you couldn't find an answer with are all about to come your way out of nowhere. You're going to have your clarity on a new path you're about to take. It's what I feel. There's a big change coming, you guys. It's going to be a fast shift. We have the Aquarius full moon on the 19th. Your tree is about to get recharged, regeneration. These are coming in next week to two weeks. I have the cheetah going towards the checkered flag. It's going to push you towards where you want to go. Something new is coming in to recharge you. Like that Aquarius full moon is going to give you a bolt. It's going to be like, I am going after what I want. I have my vision. I have my truth. Because, you know, Aquarians are the fixed air. And we have, there's a reason why this whole retrograde was in Lion's Gate. And we had the Leo new moon on the 4th. And we had the Aquarius full moon on the 19th two fixed signs during a Mercury retrograde during Lionsgate to shift our viewpoint about the things in life that we truly want to go after. Things are flying in for you to get you back on top. You're going to have the truth and clarity. Something's about to recharge your tree. Oh, Gemini's, are you ready? Here comes a change and it's fast, a change in the winds. What is it? <laughs> you guys, it's the fox looking through the telescope at the new moon. And this is what I'm talking about. A big shift is gonna arrive in the next few weeks. You're about to have your clarity on something. It's going to show you something about a lot of new beginnings in your life. That whenever I see a change in the winds, it's fast. And you guys already have the cheetah going towards the checkered flag. You have the stork about to land with a lot of information, communication, and you have something flying in out of nowhere. Serendipity is telling me that something's coming in towards you, Gemini's, to help you receive what you need to push you along on a new journey. I have to be fair showing up again. I have come to the edge. Come to the edge is about taking a risk. And I feel spirit guides are trying to tell me to tell you that make sure everything that you go after is something that you truly want. Make sure that everything that you want in life is balanced. Always do what is right and watch the journey you're about to take. Watch the journey where you're about to go. There's something coming in very fast in the next few weeks that's going to push you in a whole new direction and put you back on top of something that you've been wanting for a while. Because the Spirit Guides gave me deep knowing as the last card. Now this is about our own intuition and this is about trusting our divine self. But I feel my guides are telling me that you're going to have all your answers in the next few weeks about something. You're going to see something for what it is in the next few weeks. You're going to have your information. It's going to push you forward where you want to go. And I feel that the thinker in deep knowing is telling me that you're about to receive the information you need. Something's coming in. It's going to land right on top of you, literally. And it's going to show you about a new direction that you want to go for your own happiness. I feel my spirit guides are telling me there's a bolt to your tree coming and it's going to push you towards your checkered flag. And I feel my message to tell you, Gemini's, is be open, willing, and able and ready to receive about this giant shift coming out of nowhere. It's going to make you view something for new beginnings in a new way. That there's something coming in to show you that everything that you've been wanting, everything that you've been needing is here for you. That sometimes we always question, why did this happen? Or why isn't that happening? Because it wasn't meant for you. Because there's something bigger and better heading your way for new beginnings. And when I see this card, Spirit Guides are telling me, and now be ready to receive with a grateful heart. You're going to have your clarity on something you want to go after for new beginnings. And I feel Spirit Guides are telling me, the bolt you're about to get, Gemini's, there's no stopping you. In the next few weeks, you're just going to have this energy of courage, drive, determination, and a change in the wind with a message in the bottle if something's about to come in your way with information, communication, a new thought process, and it's going to shift your whole life because there's a clock on this tower. Beautiful reading today, Gemini's. I'm telling you, in the next few weeks, you guys, something's flying in and things are just going to start moving and you're not going back. You're not looking back. Gemini's is like... I'm gone. Because right now you're moving on from things. 
And I feel there's just some things that you just need to nurture right now around you and tend to your own garden. Be around the people you love. Be around the people that make you happy. Something's about to give birth. Nurture your seeds and something's about to come into abundance towards you. Beautiful reading today, Geminis. Now let's look at some spirit guide messages. They always have something to say to us. I'm going to, uh, yeah, I like to go over here. I'm going to go over here. These are messages straight from spirit guides. I have you under the deck, the king of swords, the visionary. I have everything coming together for you in the tree of love and life. But this is about you staying in your truth and be the visionary with integrity. You know, the king of swords is a very honorable king. You know, it does what is right. Everything wants to come together for you in the tree of love and life. And here's victory all around you to be had. And find harmony with yourself, Geminis. You are the lovers. Everything is teaching you something about patience. Trusting that everything is working out for you in divine timing. Have the strength and courage. I don't know who's under these decks. With your manifestations. Oh, I'm loving your reading so far. You guys, these, I do not know who's under these decks. I shuffle, cleanse, put them down. I'm going to let them fly out now. The Magician. These are messages, you guys, and Spirit Guides are telling me, as long as you believe what it is that you want to receive, it's all coming in for you in the next few weeks. It's going to start happening. It's going to start setting the ball into motion. But how can you receive Gemini's if you don't believe? And I feel my Spirit Guides are telling me there's a change coming for you to see something in a new way, and it's going to push you forward. And watch what you're about to receive with the Yang. Spirit Guides. I'd love some messages today for the sign of Gemini. Thank you. If you can give Gemini any messages about this reading, what do you want to say to the sign of Gemini? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Anything else? Thank you. Messages. You guys got my Four of Wands, my 1111, and this is about gateways opening. But you have to release yourself from situations in your life that aren't making you happy. The Four of Wands are reasons for celebration. Things are coming together for you. Things are opening for new beginnings. There's something that you need to claim your personal power with, and this is telling me that there's something around you in the next few weeks. My guides are trying to tell me to tell you that you need to stand up for what you want in life, Geminis, because gateways are open for all new beginnings. But you need to nurture your own garden, the Empress. That what you're nurturing right now, what you keep putting your love and beauty into, you're about to come, something's about to come into harvest for you. I have strength and courage. I have the ultimate happiness. And I have the sun. And expect a lot of communication, the night of air. The night of air is information, communication, a new thought process. But something's coming in to show you that you have the personal power and the Empress is showing up one more time, telling me that abundance is headed your way. All right, here we go. Messages. Four of Swords, your Ten of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. You know, the Four of Swords is about recharging ourselves. Sometimes we don't realize that we have to take a time out and recharge our own battery. That there's something that as long as you hold on to what you really feel you deserve, there's something coming in of more abundance, more money. Because the Ten of Pentacles is about your ultimate stability, but the Queen of Pentacles doesn't bend unless it knows that it deserves it. Meaning, the Queen of Pentacles is the queen that's climbed the ladder. It's earned its stripes. Hold out for what you want and watch what is about to come your way, but you need to take a time out and recharge yourself. I have you showing up, the beautiful Page of Swords, the Thinker, the Watcher. I have you again, Gemini's Destiny, the Lovers. And I have it with the Six of Cups. You know, the Six of Cups is kindred spirits, nostalgia, but it's also about feeling like a child again. There's something coming in to teach you that if you shift your viewpoint on certain situations in your life, there's new parts of your destiny coming in to make you feel whole again, Gemini. You are the lovers for a reason. To find harmony with everything and a new viewpoint is here for you to show you that everything that you want is before you. I have the Three of Cups sideways. Okay, the King of Cups in reverse and the Two of Wands in reverse. The King of Love and the Two of Wands in reverse is telling me that there's something that you need to commit yourself to and it's with your heart. It's going to help you move forward. 
that everything in your life wants to come together for you for the tree of love and life. But how can it come together for you with love if we don't commit to something with love? And the two of wands in reverse is telling me it's now time for you to move forward with things in your life that you've been nurturing, that you've been planting your seeds with. I have Scorpio transformation. It's telling me that there's a part of you that is no longer here. A new Gemini has been born. And then they gave it to me with big Leo energy, the king of determination, the king of fire, the king of charisma. I feel the message to tell me to tell you right now is there's a part of you that no longer exists. That you need to see something in a new way. That everything that you tend to with your own love and beauty, Geminis, is going to come back to you two folds over. That transformation is here, and this is the king that, you know, it might lose a battle, but it always wins the war with its own determination, charisma, fire. The king of fire is such a beautiful, honorable king of strength and courage that there's a new you that's here to show you that it's time for you to move forward with the things in life that you want to come into abundance for tomorrow. That your own inner work has brought you to a new place. That it's now a time for you to find harmony again with the things in life that you want with a new viewpoint and watch the things that are about to come your way. That's all I'm going to say. Everything wants to play out for you, Geminis, but it's about your own heart and what you commit to. That, you know, sometimes we have to understand that when a change comes, it's trying to show us something about ourselves. Because I look at this life as our whole mission is about becoming a bigger and better person and to fine tune ourselves. And I feel everything is open here for you for the things in life that you want. I've seen the Empress too many times. Nurture it and watch what you are about to receive. And I'm leaving it there. Trust. All right. I'm going to get some uh, angel cards now. The Ten of Ariels under the deck. That is the Ten of Pentacles. I'm going to shuffle. And then I will let my spirit guides and master angels speak to you. I would like three to four cards. One shuffle. For the sign of Gemini's, please, angel cards, three to four, strongest. You guys, this was a beautiful reading for you. The message is here. Being resistant to change. I don't know. All right. I would like three to four cards for Gemini's, please. Mm -hmm. Three more cards. What else? Messages from the angels. Thank you. Okay. Oh, Angel Gabriel has shown up for you today. Oh, well, they gave me a few cards, but I have this card right here. I can't see it. Underneath the deck is the Four of Wands. I did see it in your messages. It's the Four of Gabriel. Angel Gabriel has it to say to you, Geminis, and then there's your Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Time for a celebration. Abundant rewards for your hard work. Release yourself from burdensome situations. I think I said that earlier. For your ten Ariel, everything you want for more abundance and happiness in your life. The first card they gave me is the five of Ariel, the angel of earth. You needn't go through your current challenges alone. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. Shift your viewpoint on something. Start looking at the positive. Don't look at the negative. It was a blessing in disguise. Three of Michael is here. Angel Michael has given you the three. Release the past. You will grow from this situation. Time heals all wounds. And amen. I've been here many times, you guys. And I feel that sometimes once we release it and learning that whatever I've been through, it made me a bigger and better person. Those old wounds are out in the mid-Atlantic somewhere. I don't even look back. Okay, the Angel Gabriel has given you the Knight and the Five of Gabriel. The Knight of Gabriel. Time to take action, great passion for a cause, instinctively knowing just what to do. Time to take action, time for you to move forward with something in your life. The Five of Gabriel. A challenge you can resolve. Withdraw from the drama of others. Have patience with yourself and those around you. Last card they gave you, Geminis, is the Knight of Air, the Knight of Michael. Time to move quickly. Choose logic over emotion and there will be sudden changes. You're all about logic, Geminis. 
Beautiful reading today, you guys. And I feel spirit guides are telling me a change in the winds are coming in. Choose your logic, your wisdom over emotion, and there will be sudden changes. Beautiful reading. Fast changes. I cannot tell you what a beautiful reading that was, and I hope it helped you today. You guys, love and light to everyone. I always feel I have messages for certain people. I hope that touched base with you a little bit and you got something from it. I wish you all much love and light, peace and happiness. I'm rolling into Love Crossing. So if you guys are in harmonious relationships, not dealing with anyone at the moment, you never know when love is going to arrive. These are for people going through something with someone. They're difficult energy. So you guys have a blessed day and I will see you next time. Thank you for your love and support. Now, for the Geminis out there dealing with somebody, I am going to get one deck. Flash those energies. All right, and these are the strongest love crossing, you guys, meaning they may, oh, the right away, meaning they may or may not be all your persons. Four of Wands, somebody's all about celebratory good times, gateways opening, a reunion. Hmm. Queen of Wands, a beautiful queen. Ten of Pentacles, Six of Swords, and the Getaway card. Well, somebody doesn't know whether they're coming or going here. Um, I have the Combat Zone here. Someone who's stuck moving forward with you. Very being, being very resistant to love with you, Geminis. Okay, I'm just going to say what I feel, okay? And now these energies, you guys, they can be moved around. And if you're the Cross Watcher, I, I don't take sides. I just don't. Somebody feels that there's something from the past that they're afraid of it's going to replay itself. They're being very resistant to love here. Now, I don't know if it's their energies or yours. I'm just saying what the cards are showing me. Five of Wands, you guys. And that is just like, it could be other people getting involved. But somebody here is very resistant to healing something here. Because I feel whoever you're dealing with, there's something about trust issues here. Now, I don't know whether it's with them or you. The Three of Wands, they keep envisioning you at a distance. You are this person's wish. And then I have Big Aries, the Emperor. All right. I always go, start to go by how I feel. I, I, I feel something really weird here. And I just feel this person is very resistant to change here. I feel that they have a lot of hope and faith that something between the two of you can work out. But there's somebody here who doesn't want to re go back, replace something. And they're very disillusioned about love. And then I have it with the star. You guys, um, somebody doesn't know. Okay, I'm just going to say what I feel. You guys know I'm a straight shooter, just like you. I just feel somebody here is very disillusioned about the choices they've made with love. And they're trying to find some renewal, hope, and faith again about this union. They probably made some bad choices. I'm not... Maybe they feel you did. I don't know. I just feel somebody here feels that they've made a lot of bad choices and they're trying to have hope and faith again. Why do they want to keep talking to me? Page of Cups, Three of Cups, Six of Cups. They're all up in their head. Someone who keeps pushing themselves down a rabbit hole of emotion. And then I have it with the Divine Energy, the Queen of Cups. And someone who's been going back and forth. Somebody keeps replaying something. Whoever this is that you've been dealing with is going back and forth about this energy between the two of you. They feel that there's something here that is definitely... A part of their destiny but they just don't know whether they don't want to make a bad choice they I feel this person doesn't want to hurt you they don't want to hurt themselves they're very confused and we are in a retrograde and it's very normal love crossing energies my Gemini's have been dealing with strongest what do I need to see please strongest love crossing for the sign of Gemini's yeah, they're being resistant. Yeah, they sure are, aren't they? Okay, here we go. Six of Swords, the light at the end of the tunnel. Page of Swords. Hanging man with the devil and the Three of Cups. All right. This is somebody who keeps replaying something at night. Now, I don't know who you're dealing with, but the Nine of Swords is somebody who keeps replaying something at night that turned out to be very toxic in their life. They're really looking at something right now about making a choice. But unfortunately, with the hanging man on one side and the devil on the other, this person is realizing that they've made some bad choices and they're trying to get to a place of peace. But their viewpoint on something here that feels very toxic needs to shift. We all make mistakes. 
you know, and I feel this person kind of blames themselves about something. That judgment. I just feel like they're blaming themselves about something here and they can't, they, they keep, they keep replaying it over and over and over again and they haven't learned to let something go yet. I have the Fool, the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords, you guys, are words. Somebody keeps replaying something over and over and over again. They want to take a leap of faith. They want to come in. They, they want to take that jump in. I have it with the beautiful Queen of Love, the Ace of Wands, and I have the King of Swords, Gemini Energy. You guys, this is somebody who is really trying to be open to something here with love. But right now in their energies, they just want something ignited with passion with you. They want to get something started with you. Or they feel that you're just trying to get something started with them for, I don't know. I kind of do know. But I'm going to say it at the end. Wheel of Fortune. I have somebody being very resistant to something here. The Four of Pentacles is very stubborn energy. And it's with the King of Love. Commitment. Whoever this is, I'm not even going to, I'm just going to round it out for you. This is somebody who keeps replaying something that turned out to be very toxic in their life. They replay it and replay it and replay it and replay it. Judgment is here telling me that this person needs to let this go already. Like they don't know how to shift their viewpoint on something because they're still stuck on their viewpoint with the hanging man. And then the devil's on one end that whoever this is, is very being very resistant to something here. And it has to do with love and commitment. Because this person is holding on to something here, and I feel it has to do with things that have been spoken between the two of you. They keep replaying it over and over and over again. And you guys, this is somebody who's working on it. They're trying to understand something here because that's with the Eight of Pentacles. I have a lot of revelations, and I have the Three of Swords, and I have the big dumpster of emotion. And then I have somebody who's doing a lot of inner work and looking at something with an inner light, the Virgo Energy Hermit. You guys, whoever you're dealing with right now is having a lot of revelations about something. And I just feel that whatever they're going through in life, I'm not here to judge. I don't take sides. Is that they keep replaying something that went awry. Now, I don't know whether it went awry in their life or whether it went awry between the two of you. I don't know. I, I, it's general, you guys. It's not a personal reading. But whoever this is, is learning to understand something. And they have to realize that... Whatever they've been through, they made some bad choices or somebody here made some bad choices. It's now time to let it go and realize that it made you a bigger and better person for the cross watcher. It's time for you, them to realize that there's something around them that wants to play out for bigger and better tomorrows, but they're holding on to something from the past and they need to get out of their own way. I, I don't even know where that came from. So I'm going to leave it there. Let's look at their intentions. Now, if you're the cross watcher, you can yell at me. It's okay because it could be Gemini. I don't know. Somebody here needs to get out of their own way and understand healing is a part of the process for everybody's life. All right. I'm going to do the light series. Now, if this is somebody who did you really dirty and they did it over and over and over again, you hold out for what you want because something bigger and better is aligning. All right. Page of Pentacles, the peace offering, their intentions, Ace of Swords, the Magician, Eight of Wands, Five of Cups, Eight of Swords. Okay. Somebody's... Somebody wants to try to get something ignited with you with love, but the Ace of Swords is here with the Page of Pentacles, meaning that this person wants to break a barrier, but they're willing to do it one step at a time in the next few weeks. They don't want to jump in. They want to make sure that there's something between the two of you that is on a solid foundation. Let's see. I think you're going to be, I think there's going to be more communication right when that Aquarius full moon hits. There's going to be a lot of truths flying around. Here we go, spirit guides. Love crossing intentions towards Gemini's. Mm -hmm. mm. Talk about full moon. <laughs> Next few weeks, love crossing intentions. Thank you. Who is that? For the sign of Gemini's. What do I need to see? Strongest. Love. Handpicked. For the sign of Gemini's. Okay, who is this? It's really bothering me. Oh, the Nine of Pentacles, feeling whole, self-mastery. And I believe there was a flipper. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but I could have swore I felt somebody flip. Oh, I guess it turned back around. Okay, good to change their mind. Ace of Wands. Seven of Swords. Being very resistant to something here because they're still holding on to old emotion that has broken their heart. But in the next few weeks, if somebody's trying to release something and they want to... They want to hear what you have to say. They want to communicate to you more. The Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords would be Queen. And the Emperor. King of Swords. You. Wow, I got a matching duo here, huh? Somebody want... You know what? This is what I feel. 
because I'm just going to go by how I feel, that, you know, their intentions are to try to find a re resolution here with you. But whoever this is, and I had told you that I feel when that Aquarius full moon hits, there's going to be more communication flying around. That there's something coming in that is going to open up the lines of communication with you and they want to understand something so they can let it go. Gemini's judgment. Yeah. Four of Swords is sideways. I have their Ten of Cups. I have their thought process all just in their head. But I have this brave heart, the Knight of Love. I feel somebody wants to just come to some type of resolution here about something that keeps pushing them back down this rabbit hole and they've been very resistant to change. They're holding on to old pains with you, Geminis. But I just feel that they want to hear what you have to say. I feel that somebody's going to reach out to you and they want to hear what you have to say. Because the King of Swords is you and the Queen of Swords is Libra, but it's telling me it's somebody who, that's the Queen of Evaluation. And I feel this person wants to get out of their own way with their thoughts about something here that brought them a lot of happiness. They're coming out from taking a major time out. This is the brave heart, you guys. I feel this person wants to come in and try to open their lines of communication with love. I have the Hierophant, I have the Eight of Wands in reverse, and then there's the full moon. And I had said something about that moon, but that moon is telling me somebody's coming in slowly. Now, the Hierophant is very traditional energy. It's Taurus, but it's about a bigger level of commitment. Like, I feel somebody wants to come back around at you to show you that they're more committed now, that they're ready for that commitment, a bigger level of faith. They're trying to show you that they've grown. Have they? The Wounded Warrior with my Geminis. Oh, Geminis. This is somebody who's coming back around to try to prove to you that they're ready now and they're trying to hold on to something here and they want new beginnings, but whoever this is, they got to get past the pain. I feel it's somebody who wants to communicate to you and they want some type of clarity about healing something here with you. What you do with it is up to you, but I always tell people, mend the fence in the right way. If this is somebody you don't want back, just say, look, I'll always love you. You'll always be a special part of my life, but it's time for me to move forward. But this is somebody who wants to understand something with you and to show you that they've grown. Like I said, what you do with it is up to you because they're holding on to too much pain. They, they, they're breaking right now. They Literally, their intentions, they're holding on to something that they keep going down this rabbit hole of emotion. They're going to try to get something ignited with you so they can feel whole again. I feel like you can expect communication. Oh yeah, you have a message in a bottle. And this person wants to hear what you have to say. So speak your truth, Geminis, in a nice and compassionate way. All right, you guys, see what happens. I always say, you know, if two people can evolve together and grow, anything can work. But it's all about our own inner growth and development together. I wish you all much love and light. I hope this reading today helped you in some way. And thank you for all your love and support, Geminis. All right, you guys, have a beautiful day today, an amazing next few weeks. Be open to receive something and be grateful when it arrives. It's coming out of nowhere. Have a blessed day. Thank you.